Some people learn better with words, and some people learn with visual things and with hands-on things. And I am a total visual thinker. You know, when I was in school, the things where I really learned was doing a lot of hands-on things. And I'm concerned that in a lot of schools, they've taken out those classes. Recently, I was just uh, traveling on a trip and found out that one school system in another state put hands-on things back in. The thing about doing all kinds of hands-on activities is they teach practical problem solving. You know, you just do the verbal way, it gets too abstract. And people like me need to do hands-on things. I mean, I think this is a really useful thing for you know, teaching anatomical uh, concepts. And I'm very concerned uh, you know, on what's happened to science education in a lot of schools. Yes, we've got to learn reading and we've got to learn math. But there's all kinds of hands-on things we need to be learning, too. You've got something that's much more hands-on. It's not the same as just looking at a picture. You've got something you can manipulate. You know, one thing you learn from that is there's a lot of variation. You know, the anatomy is not exactly the, the same in every animal. It can, it can vary. You need to have hands-on learning. You know, and I'm one of the kind of people that learned by doing hands-on things. You know, we've got to get more back, more back to real stuff. Okay, let's take things like cooking class and things like sewing class and woodworking. Sometimes your projects don't work out right. You've got to figure out how to do it. Teaches practical problem solving. Also teaches some common sense. Yeah, you might put this on here and do it wrong. You know, it, it's, uh, no, I think it's be a great thing like in high school science classes. This would be a, be a really great teaching aid. You know, certain kinds of kids where, the, where doing any kinds of hands-on activities helps to get them interested. You've got to touch to really see right.